I have spent over $60,000 on this play in the last two weeks alone. And I'm going to come out and talk about this. There is a lot of opportunity. And one of the best opportunities I think we have here is to be able to invest. Invest in the different markets we have, the different sectors we have. But there's a lot of money to be made out there. And it's up to each of us to figure out the best way forward in making that money. And in terms of investing, man, I love this one. Uh, a lot of you have some rough ideas. I kind of want to go over it in detail in this video because there's a lot of newer investors that are like, hey, hold, hold on, this guy's really loading the boat on here. What's he thinking? What's he doing? Well, I'll, I'll describe that in great detail in this video as well as show you some downside risk and how I'm trying to handle that risk and the upside of how much money I think I can actually make off of this, which is just a disgusting amount of money. Uh, and so I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty pumped. So if you want to hear about all this, stick around. Uh, I think you're going to like what I got for you. And of course, we've been talking about a lot of the things going on over in my Discord. If you haven't joined, the new bot is live. You can see people in here. They're using the bot. It is going through. And of course, I am excited. Uh, it continues to be improved. It is just awesome. Uh, you come in here, and this is the new Stockmo bread bot. It pulls it in. So if you put in something like, say, Tesla, it'll give you the information. Go out and search for everything. Do the charts. Run the numbers. Give you the green signal. Boom. What happens? Give you the red signal. Give you the green signals. It tells you. You always go by the nearest one. The nearest one's red. It drops. And, of course, this one red. Down it goes. We had a quick switch of Rui there. Uh, and so it's pretty nice to be able to pull up this information and say, oh, what about Bonk? Well, this is where you're supposed to buy, and it ran. And it gives you that the signals of what you're looking at, which is kind of interesting, Bonk. Uh, so as you can see, down it goes, up it went, down it went, now we're on the green. And it, it, so for, if you're looking for bearish and bullish signals, you're going to love this. Plus the golden sweets, where are millions and millions of dollars being spent? Now you got it. And so we got a lot of information in here, as well as my portfolio's and of course the small account challenge if you're not a part of that we got all kinds of good stuff and the free free portfolios in there good stuff now what did i buy what are you buying mo well it relates to ethereum for those who don't know i spent 60 something thousand over the last two weeks on my play and it's directly related to ethereum and my goal is to be able to turn this money and i'm not even done i'm actually going to invest another 200,000 into this. What play is that? It is Grayscale Ethereum Trust. This is an, you know, and here's the deal. I know a lot of true crypto people out there. Oh, if they're not your keys. It's not your crypto. Well, this is, <laughs> you don't even get that here. This isn't a spot ETF yet, but that plays into the game. So my goal is to be able to make money off of the Grayscale Ethereum Trust because there's a discount to it. Roughly right now, the discount is trading around 25% discount. In other words, to net asset value, not to get overly complicated here for people who don't follow all the, the jargon in the industry, is it's trading on a discount to where it should be if it held the actual spot crypto. If it holds the spot crypto, this would be roughly 25% higher. And that's a, that's a nice little gain you get without the, even the appreciation of uh, Ethereum outright. And so if you look over the last six, uh, let's say one month, it's down 18%, right? And over the last month, because we know the last month's been tough. Uh, you have Ethereum down 12, but ETHE is down 18%. But if you go out a year when we had that, uh, the discount was like 50%, and all of a sudden they talk of spot ETS started to come out for this, look what happens. You got Ethereum up 68%, this up 157%. In other words, that discount shrunk, 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 where this outperformed Ethereum. So my theory is this, and I'm going to be patient in this. I bought a ton of Ethereum. And for those who know me, you know I've had Ethereum for years and years and years and years and years. And I've been buying it at 100, 200. I got the receipts to show, and, we, and I showed them on the videos. And so now I got up to a point where I could sell, and I did sell my Ethereum between 3,500 and 3,600. And I took all that money and I trans, I, I put it into my accounts uh, for equities. And the equities I'm trying to buy, obviously, and I have been slowly buying, slowly buying ETHE. I'm buying on major dips. And there's certain levels I'm pulling the trigger on. The big level for the big, 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 big purchase on this 
is I have to have the markets open because you can't buy this in the after hours. Uh, when I'm trying to buy this is in the market open between 930 and 4. And what I'm trying to do is buy it on a big dip under 2900. But uh, when we had that dip under 2900 over the last month, I was not able to get into it because, well, the markets weren't open. So when the markets open by then, it re Ethereum rebounded back above 3000. I still bought, but not the biggest as I would like to. So I continue to buy weekly into my Grayscale Ethereum trust. And it's because I expect this discount to evaporate as we go forward. Because the idea is not that we're, it's, it, to me, it's not a no. It is eventually we are going to go ahead and get that spot ETF okayed by the SEC. But the latest decision by the SEC, this week, Tuesday, the SEC delayed making a decision on spot Ethereum ETF proposals by Franklin, uh, Templeton, and Grayscale, pushing the timeline on this one to June 11th, and Grayscale's ETF to June 23rd now. And so we could the regulator could approve, disapprove, or institute proceedings, all right? So there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, we, you know, most people, they remain optimistic about spot Ethereum approvals. Similar to JP Morgan, they maintain its year end target price levels of 150,000 for Bitcoin, 8,000 for Ethereum. I think Ethereum personally in 2025 will hit 10,000 a piece if the spot ETFs are approved here by the end of 2024. I believe the price of Ethereum will hit 10,000 in 2025. Therefore, my grayscale, uh, this would be huge because one, I'd gain the 25%. And my goal is to be all in before the spot ETF is approved and to be able to buy bigger chunks if we have a big sell off. I'm probably one of the few people want to see a sell off during the market hour so I can buy and then have it rebound up. Uh, and I, I know there's always that concern. Hey, Mo, what happens if you don't get that? What, ha what happens if it drops back down, Mo, to two? Two dollars, six dollars, two dollars, four dollars, and look, Mo, it could yeah, you're right, it could it could easily go back down. Remember the last winter, forty-five all the way down to four, and so you got to keep an eye on this. Uh, but my opinion is we are in a bullish run, but there is no guarantees out there that we are going to stay in a bullish run. You can see what happened with Ethereum here. We had that major drop off where we got down uh, to eight hundred and something, I believe it was June seventeenth. Uh, but if you come out here to the June 17th here, you can see we got down to $7. And so you got to keep an eye on this, see where it's going. But as that discount evaporates, of course, it starts to outperform. Underperforms here. If you take a look from top to bottom, check this out. It dropped 84.53%. <clears throat> if we look at Ethereum, um, did it drop that 84.53%? No, it was 77%. So you had the other one dropping more. So there's more risk to the downside when you are trading this, and plus there's a cost, 2.5, I believe it's 2.5%, uh, but you can check that, you can dig through there. I'm playing it more as a, let's go ahead and get that discount on a spot ETF. If it gets approved in, in June, that would be fantastic. I didn't think it would actually get approved until fall into winter. I'm probably one of the few people who believe it'll take some time. Thus, my decision to dollar cost average into the ethereum trust over time grayscale ethereum trust over time i wasn't in a hurry i didn't think may was going to happen to be honest with you and so i kind of rolled the dice and everybody else was oh it's going to happen and you see a little turn down over like you know remember that was tuesday so if you look at tuesday we get the information out we have monday and then of course tuesday comes along and since then we drop about five percent because of the delay i take the delay as an opportunity to add more to my position and and that's what how i'm kind of looking at it and of course we can move into if we look at this we can move into the technicals and look up uh, ethereum uh, on the charts and see what we're doing when it comes to ethereum now i'm going to pull up the coinbase so we can got the prices over here and stuff and you can see my chart on the run up beautiful run up and right here is the goldilocks zone the retracement between and this was where i'm setting up my buys this is where i'm setting up to try to make a lot of money off of this is I had to figure out where was I selling, where was I buying. So all my crypto I bought for hundreds of dollars all the way up in dollar cost average through, I ended up selling at the high 3550 to 3600 range. 
And so I'm selling in this range right here. Now it did run up a little higher, but I wasn't trying to figure out where the rocket was landing. I wanted to take profits. Now at that point, I did feel comfortable right here that we were gonna retrace down. That gave me an idea where we we're gonna retrace down to, to 31.78. 2963. I would have loved to have been able to sell at 38 to 4,000, but we didn't know where the top was going to be. And in here, you can see the RSI was up there in the 90s, and I wasn't trying to uh, play with fire. So at that point, it did run down. And I did think eventually, over the next month or two, we were going to get to the 3178 to 2963. We are there right now. It's exactly where I thought it would be. So with that being said, I think this, this, this support here at 2963 is going to be very, very big. Uh, and so anytime we get down there and buying, if we get below 2,900 into this zone, I am going to be a very big buyer. If the RSI reverses and gets bullish and the, the 5 and 13 get bullish and the 50 gets taken out and stuff, I do want to have bigger positions before we cross over. Uh, and because if the 50 gets taken out by the 5 and the 13, as the bread strategy pulls in, we could start the next run. I want to have a, a pretty big position down here in the Goldilocks zone. So I've been buying quite frequently. So those people in my Discord, you guys know what I've been doing. I've been loading up to the tune of over 60 something thousand dollars in the last two weeks. And I'm not even, I'm not, I'm just getting started. I plan on buying a ton, hundreds of thousands of dollars of this over the next few weeks slash months, depending on the, how the price goes. Now the risk I run, if this drops, of course, the, what I bought ahead of time goes down. But remember, if I was diamond handing for years, I got out of up there 3550 to 3600. Buying down in the zone for Ethereum and Ethereum related products, if, I, if the underlying Ethereum is down there at say 2800. Okay, remember, I sold at 3550, 3600. That's $800 under where we are if it hits 2800. And so that means as Ethereum drops, so does ETHE which gives me a much better position, a lot more exposure as Ethereum gets back up to those highs. And that's what pumps me up. I think there's a ton of cash to be made, plus the discounts in there. And I'm DCAing down. So I bring my average cost down as this drops. So I feel real good about this. I bought low, sold real high, massive gains. Now it's coming down. I'm buying much lower than I sold at. That's the game. You're never going to be able to time it perfect. So for those watching this saying, well, Mo, the chart, you know, why don't you wait until, wait till what? Tomorrow, this could green up and we could be here already. And by uh, the next day, we could be right here. And when I say right here, I mean 3660. So we could cross 3394 tomorrow and go up to 3660 the next day. And then I'd be like, I'm out of luck because now I have to buy back above where I was. And I don't want to have to buy above. I want to buy below because I want more exposure. So my plan is to continue to get into these plays, but this isn't a bearish move. It could cycle in the channel here, call this channel catfishing, and we could come back down to the 2,900 level. And if we hit that $2,900 level, I just hope it's during the market day. I want to be able to buy ETHE during the market day. Anytime I get 2,900 or below, I'm loading up a lot more. Anytime I get into 2,900s, I am adding a little bit every day. Uh, I feel pretty good about that price because you're right down there on support and I have no problem buying on support. So you guys can let me know below if you you think this is a smart decision. If you think buying ETHE, uh, Grayscale Ethereum Trust is smart or should I just stick to holding the, holding the crypto? You know, let me know what you think. Should I stake just regular crypto and been happy or trying to get this extra 25%, and it's over 25%, right? What are we at? 26.1% now on that discount rate. That's what I'm trying to capture on top of the gains that we should get on Ethereum as that Ethereum trust comes out. Remember though, we do not have that yet, but a lot of people do believe, uh, removal, you can see what's going on here. A lot of people believe it's gonna happen. Uh, we uh, expect eventual US approval it's going to happen, in my opinion. I just think it's not going to happen until fall, winter this year. They're getting the information they want, and we'll see how it goes. They're dragging their feet. They didn't, you know, the whole, oh, security, is it a security, is it not? That's part of this, and it could take years. That's the downside. There's always a risk. What happens if you're wrong, Mo? What happens if they deny it? And that could happen, and we could face court cases that take years. And that I would adjust as I go. I'm not going to just say, well, I'll just diamond hand it for years and years and years. No, I would make moves. And, but for now, 
My best estimate is in the next 12 months, it'll be approved. And then after that, my best estimate is that with all the spot ETFs that get approved, that demand will lead Ethereum to $10,000 a piece by the end of 2025. If in 2024, Ethereum gets the spot ETF nod of approval from the SEC. I, I, I'm excited. I think there could be a ton of cash to be made with that. And for those who are like, I'm not in it, Mo, I could care less about it. Let me remind you of this. As the whole ocean goes higher, as the whole ocean goes up, the altcoins will also benefit. I've shown it time and time and time again. If the two big dogs on the porch can't make it, they can't crush it, the little dogs are going to get stomped out. And we already have Bitcoin approved, and that is the big dog on the porch. And of course, uh, Ethereum is its little brother, the little brother that should be able to dominate moving forward. And that is where I am taking the risk. Uh, we saw the spot ETF happen for Bitcoin and the grayscale for Bitcoin. That, that, that entire discount disappeared. People made bank. Now it's time to repeat. If I saw what happened to that, why don't I just rinse and repeat with Ethereum? And that's what I'm trying to do. All right, let me know what you think down below. Now, I got an, a, an easy winner for you. If you haven't done it, get your free stocks from Moomoo down below. You get 10 now. And these are, we're talking Magnificent 7. And you can come over here and get your fractional shares. Put $100 in. You can take advantage of this. We got good stuff. Uh, you got to use my link below, but you'll get 10. You'll get a guaranteed 50 bucks worth of stock. And that's incredible. Uh, and get over to the Stock Mode Discord. Use the new bots. The new bots are incredible. And I'm talking high-level stuff. And we're only continuing to upgrade uh, upgrade the tickers. As you can see, everybody's in here having fun joining them. Uh, and the information is next level. Bonk, look, boom. You can see what's going on with these things. Oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. It'll take care of you. All right, family, that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.